Hello and welcome everyone to my Let's Play Painkiller, the Black Edition. This is Algaris 115. Well, this is the moment we've been all waiting for. The very last level of the original Painkiller game. Last chapter, last level. Hell, yeah, that's the level actually. We managed to get out of the purgatory, entering a portal under the old monastery and through it into the hell itself. Yeah. Can't wait to see what hell looks like. They say, well, Samael said that it's supposed to be heavily guarded from the inside. Well, let's see if there's any truth to that. I don't trust that guy, to be honest. Anyway, last time in the old monastery level for keeping health above 50 points, we received... Oh yeah. We received... Oh, where is the card? Why can't I see it? Oh, here we go. Soul Redeemer. Souls provide more health. Well, we could actually consider trying it out right now, since this is the Nightmare difficulty. However, in the Hell level, there are no souls. And, without spoiling anything, don't worry, there are tons of enemies, just no souls to pick up. <clears throat> so, basically, we're just gonna put Soul Catcher back into our collection. Also, Blessing. Now, we might consider that, but even though this is the very last level of the game, it's not particularly hard. So, let's just put that back. I'm gonna put all golden cards back, for a reason. Uh, that reason being putting Divine Intervention over here. And why am I wasting a silver card slot for Divine Intervention? Basically, because I don't need any of the silver. Actually, not even golden cards out there, so I'm just gonna experiment. Yeah, none of these are necessary during this level, so I'm just gonna take replenish, double the ammunition in ammunition boxes, and the reason why I'm not using this card usually is because it makes collecting ammunition annoying, because you'll just have to shoot out more frequently in order to pick, uh, to pick up an additional ammunition box. But in Hell level, there are only ammunition packs, which you can pick up under any circumstance. So yeah, basically I'm gonna just take the replenish and have fun with that. Also, uh, since I'm not taking things seriously, I'm just gonna put speed and confusion along with time bonus over here. Everything for free thanks to the uh, divine intervention. Yeah, there'll be tons of enemies. I just wanna see what happens when we confuse them. <laughs> along with some speed, that should make things interesting. Anyway, without further ado, let us enter the gates of hell. Lovely place so far. And here we go with ammunition pack. Wow, tons of ammunition, thanks to the replenished silver card. Alright. Oh, I smell trouble. Enemies! You see, this is what I meant by enemies yielding no souls, even though this is nightmare difficulty. The enemies are dead or something already. They have each one of them has one health point, so they're incredibly easy to take out. Naturally, they yield no souls. But you can see they still count towards the monster count up there. Up on our user interface display. Yeah. And you can see we killed 29 monsters out of one. One monster basically doesn't represent the real counter of monsters. It's just there is unlimited supplies of monsters in this level. So. Killing everything we see, it's not the way to go in hell. Let's instead take our time to collect those ammunition packs to receive a golden star. Oh, this place looks amazing. Actually, there is no time in this place. So everything stopped. And there's like eternal war raging on. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Medieval castle siege. I'm gonna take a screenshot here. And all the way to World War the First. You can see you can hear the military shouts everywhere. It's pretty amazing actually. Yeah. 
let's delve inside the trenches, see if there's anything to be had. Yeah, ammunition boxes basically. There are five secrets in this level. I just found one. It was the armor beneath the catapult. Oh, and there we go with a large health pack. Nice. The card unlocking status for <laughs> for this level basically requires us to kill Lucifer. Now that's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Like they're telling us what's gonna happen. Oh well. Oh, we're gonna have to hurt ourselves a bit. Okay, wasn't so bad. Yeah. Basically, I'll just take my time collecting all these ammunition packs. 32, that's not that much. Not too much power. Yeah. And you might want to consider avoiding killing all the enemies you see, for reasons that I'll explain a bit later. Ah, I actually explain them right now. If you kill 66 enemies, uh, you'll turn into a demon morph and will be able to face Lucifer himself. And when that happens, we can actually kill him. Uh, and that's when the level ends, basically. So we're not gonna kill 66 enemies until we collect all five golden stars. Yeah. However, if you fail to kill him during that encounter, during during you turning into a demon morph, you just have to kill another set of 66 enemies. Yeah. So it's not that bad. Especially if these enemies <laughs> are so weak. Like one health point each. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is getting across to a next secret. Oh. Oh, that secret being the armor over there. However, to get to it, it's a bit tricky. Let me show you just how. Oh. Not really good at this, am I? Thank goodness. Okay. Just basically use that window ledge to jump over there and pick up the armor. This part is actually my favorite. The sinking ship. And you can hear the people screaming in panic. It's pretty amazing. I thought it was a Titanic, but... It's actually a battleship, so it can't be that one. Okay, two more armors to collect. Let's get a move on with the next one, eh? Oh no, it's actually a large health pack. Which we can't collect because we already reached the maximum health limit, which is 250. Two more ammunition packs to go. Yeah, I think we're on the right track, actually. Okay. Now. Approach the atomic fallout area, basically. Wow, this really is impressive. The developers put effort into this level, didn't they? Okay, so basically, there's a house wreckage over here and we'll need to get on top of the roof to reach that golden armor over there so let's do that right now yeah, as easy as that but the hardest secret is still yet to come 
have to climb all this rubble over here, which turn into really unnatural shapes. Oops, wrong. I'm pretty sure there is a better way to do this, but I haven't found one. quick save right now because I'm a bit nervous at the moment. Okay, and the hardest jump is yet to go. Oh, come, okay. There we go, all secrets. Now, what remains are two ammunition packs that I'm gonna collect right now. Right, so here they basically are. By the catapult with our, where I collected the first armor, also being a secret, this is where the ammunition boxes are. Now it's time to do away with those enemies. So let's see how the confusion will help. Oh, come on, guys. We're really dead. That weak, we can't even kill each other. Ah, oh, there we go. I know I'm doing this, this isn't that much fun. Yeah, let's just do away with it. Your best choice of weapon in this case is basically a chain gun for its perfect precision, great range, and high rate of fire. No point in using it anything else, pretty much. And once we kill the 66th enemy, and these are actually guys from the first chapter, the more you kill them, from, uh, then enemies from later and later chapters will eventually appear. But that doesn't need to happen because it's time to kill Lucifer. There he is. He's actually the hell level, just from a different perspective. And only while we demon morphed, we can see Lucifer. Yeah, he does this, he basically summons meteors to fall on you. And all you have to do is shoot those meteors back at him, return them to sender. Whoa! Not good, not good at all. Now he's really angry and wants to throw his sword at us. Just return it back to sender and deal away with him. Farewell, Lucifer. We're a much more worthy opponent. Now that we've done away with him, the level exit appeared. So, considering we received all the golden stars and killed Lucifer, which is also the card unlocking status, let's enter the hmm, lovely blue pentagram and see what happens. three times per level. That's quite a lot. <laughs> also costs 2000 gold to put in place. So basically improved version of forgiveness. Three times per level is quite a lot. Almost feels like cheating. Mm. That's what we get for defeating the ruler of hell. Anyway, huh. I wonder what happens next.
Alistor. I... I thought I killed you. <laughs> killed me? <laughs> you can't kill me up there. You simply sent me back here. We can, however, be destroyed down here. I think he should have finished you off when he had the chance. But in the end, he was blinded by his infatuation with me. Got a lesson. I knew it would. Well, you put up more of a fight than I thought you would. Absorbing those demon souls has given you a tremendous amount of strength. I think it might have clouded your judgment. <laughs> Welcome to hell. I... I don't understand. Of course you don't, you foolish human. We could have overthrown heaven ages ago, but Lucifer wasn't confident we were ready. He thought we needed more demons. He thought we lacked the strength necessary. He gave them too much credit and wasted too much time. He was weak. He was short-sighted and... Had to be removed from power. By the way, I'm not the only one who agrees with this. We all came here for this event. You just happened to beat us to it. Although I didn't think you could destroy him. Regardless, had you not done it, we surely would have. I must admit, I was shocked to see that you declined the offer to heaven. When I'm finished here, I'll make my way back up there. When you're finished here? <laughs> You'll never be finished here. Ooh, I'm going to torture you for eternity. I'm going to enjoy watching you scream with pain as I slowly cut you. Don't worry, you won't feel much. Bring it on!
Well, that's that. Daniel is still trapped in hell fighting those demons. Protecting you. Not exactly what I'd call happy ending, but there you go. Don't worry, however, this is not the conclusion of Painkiller's story, as it continues in the Battle Out of Hell expansion. Alright, this is basically a golden and silver card collection over here. All the silver cards, all the golden cards. This isn't the whole deal, there are still more cards to be collected in the Battle Out of Hell expansion, and that's exactly where I'm gonna see you guys later. For now, thank you for watching my Painkiller 5 star walkthrough, and this is Algaris 115 signing off.